Here we go again, ladies and gentlemen. Another snowstorm. This one's not as crazy. It's not as cold outside, but the snow is coming down pretty good right now. What's going on, everybody? I mean, how we doing, guy? Anyhow, so yeah, it's a snowy day today. Uh, it's a Sunday. I'm just using this day to get some stuff done. Organizing. We went to a big rummage sale over the weekend and an estate sale. Picked up a bunch of stuff. I'll probably include a few little clips of that. Um, and yeah, just trying to like organize my office right now. Everything just seems to get crazy over the week. So got to get back into the habit of trying to stay organized. I'm not the cleanest person. I will be the first to admit that. So we're working on it. So yeah, this past weekend we went to an estate sale. We also went to like a big rummage sale that was supporting a local high school lacrosse team. <laughs> so at the estate sale, we got a few things, but most of what I wanted was pretty overpriced. So we ended up leaving a lot of stuff behind. The rummage sale though, everything was dirt cheap. So we grabbed a lot of cool stuff. Uh, makes me super excited for yard sale season just because the prices are unbeatable. So I figured I'd just go through and show you everything that we picked up real quick. I got some Nike Air Maxes here. These are always good. I've sold a bunch of these over the years. Got uh, two pairs of shoes in total. This is a pair of LeBrons. I think these are little LeBron 16s. Not entirely sure, but they're size eight. Kind of a smaller size, but they were three bucks, so can't beat it. Got a nice little knit beanie here. Not like a name brand or anything, but we're gonna keep it. It was a quarter. Got a vintage crew neck sweatshirt. Always fun to find these. This one says Muirfield, which is a golf course here in Columbus. Probably not like a huge market for this, but it's got like a good look to it and stuff. So I definitely think I'll be able to sell it. Finley College sweatshirt. So this is on the Jansport tag. Anytime I can find like collegiate sweaters for cheap enough, I usually pick them up, even if it's kind of an obscure or smaller college, just because you already know if you're going into the bookstore at this college and trying to buy a sweatshirt like this, it's gonna cost you like 40 or 50 bucks. They absolutely tax on the sweatshirts in the collegiate bookstores, but I can probably get like 25 bucks for this. Got a nice champion reverse weave hoodie for two bucks. This isn't a vintage one or anything, but even the modern ones sell. This will go for like 25 or 30 bucks. For a dollar, I just got a nice Columbia kind of like fuzzy knit sweater. This is something I probably wouldn't normally pick up, but since it was a buck, I figured why not. Lena snagged this pair of oven mitts. I think that they are vintage. They're, they look pretty old and they have like cats all over them. They were a dollar for the set. And yeah, they're just kind of unique and interesting. So figured we'd be able to sell them. It's got like the pot holder and the oven mitt. Another cheap vintage crew neck. This was a dollar. It says the Beer Barrel Saloon, world's longest bar put in Bay, Ohio. So this is a pretty cool place to go. Not, I've never been to this bar specifically, but put in Bay is kind of like a cool uh, vacation destination in Ohio, I guess you could say. So yeah, pretty interesting. Um, I always like these crew necks. Not gonna be like huge money or anything, but 25 bucks. For a quarter, we got the 2007 Bengals bandana. It's got the old logo, which I really like the Bengals head there. So yeah, not gonna be huge money or anything, but very cool. And if it doesn't sell, I'll just keep it myself. 50 cents, we got the new era, New Orleans Saints beanie with a little fuzzy ball on top. These actually sell pretty consistently for like $15 on eBay in pre-owned condition. So nice little pickup. Just a simple little Cleveland Browns t-shirt. Probably can get like 10 to 15 bucks for this. 2014 Ohio State Buckeyes football champions t-shirt. I find these all the time, but we always pick them up because we sell them here locally for 15 or 20 bucks. Another one of these fuzzy beanies with a little ball on top. This is a Columbus Blue Jackets, probably $15 bill here. Got a Yale lacrosse hoodie, pretty cool. Probably gonna list this guy on Depop. I'm going to try to start cross-listing some of my clothing items onto Depop this year, so this should be a perfect candidate for that. Got the John Deere hat, of course. We got the Hunter Orange with the camo bill. John Deere, obviously really well-known brand, should sell on eBay for about hmm, 15 bucks or so. Got this super cute Ohio State Buckeyes hedgehog, like ceramic little decorative figurine. He should go perfect over there on our shelf. I'll show you here in a second. Have to take the tape off the hedgehog's back still, but I think he's gonna look pretty good on this little shelf right here, right next to his buddy. And the final pickup from the rummage sale, in my opinion, the coolest as well, is the vintage Ohio State Buckeyes starter jacket. There we go, it's got the big logo on the back. Of course, it's the pullover style with the big starter zip. It's got the uh, 
front flat pocket where you can store all of your goodies. Should be able to get like 75 bucks or so for this thing, I bet. It's in really great condition. Next, we'll move on to what we grabbed at the estate sale. There was a bunch of really cool stuff. This guy was like a big time collector of comic book related stuff, action figures, comics, video games, but all the prices at this place were just outrageously high. So unfortunately wasn't able to pick up a lot of what I've wanted, but we still grabbed a few things. Got this really cool vintage t-shirt. It's got like the tie dye on the lower half, but it's got a humpback whale graphic. It says Animal Republic on it. Very cool from the year 1992. Just in time for St. Patty's Day, which will be coming up soon. We've got the Jameson Whiskey Vintage T-shirt. It says, Jameson is my spirit animal. As you know, baseball season's just around the corner. We've got the Mizuno baseball glove. This one's pretty nice, so I should be able to get like 30 bucks for it. Picked up this Glock carrying case, which is in really great condition. So this is a cool find. Just another cool vintage T-shirt from the year 1989. It says, Phi Mu Halloween Bash. It's got like a haunted house graphic from 1989. It's like a sorority t-shirt, but I really like the subject matter. The graphic's really cool. So I'm gonna throw this up on Depop for like 15 to 20 bucks. So picked up an old knife. The sheath is pretty much done for. There's like duct tape on it. So I'm probably gonna throw this out, but uh, it's an original Bowie knife. So this guy's pretty old. I'll have to do some research on it to see exactly how much it's worth, but I'm thinking around like the $30 range. So pretty cool. I like picking up old knives. So I was happy to find this one. And then the last find from the estate sale, which I probably think will end up being the most valuable find, as well as what I think to be the coolest find, is this vintage Marvel Comics like jersey style shirt. Got this really cool Corvette windbreaker. It's got the Corvette logo on the front chest, as well as the America's Cup 1992 logo on the back. It does have a few stained and minor defects, but it was pretty cheap, and I really love the colors on this, so it should do pretty well on eBay. In the $6 steal, I also picked up these women's Lucchese cowgirl boots. So these have like a really interesting sh metallic shimmer to them. So they're just your standard leather, but they have like a really cool pattern to them. So these are called a snip toe boot when they're kind of pointed, but also flat on the front. So pretty good condition, a little bit of wear, but as you can see on the bottoms, like whoever had these, they really didn't wear them all that much. They were just a little bit rough with them. So I still think I should be able to get like 80 to $100 for these. This is kind of a rare model and Lucchese's are very high quality boots. So if you're a reseller and cowboy boots aren't on your radar of items to buy and sell, I definitely think you should spend just a little bit of time to educate yourself on some of the nicer brands. So that way, if you see them out in the wild, you'll know to pick them up. These things sell super quick. I've sold a ton of them. Used to find them all the time when we lived out in Arizona. But what do you know, now that we're in Ohio, we're still finding them. Okay, so we just got another package in the mail. Really cool stuff, wanted to show you what we picked up. So these are gonna be for me, or at least this one is. So this is a Johnny Winter tour t-shirt. If you've never heard of him, Johnny Winter is quite the character. He's an extremely talented uh, blues rock musician, singer and guitarist. And he's got a twin brother, Edgar. They are some wild dudes. So I got this package from Drew Prophet Monsters on YouTube. Uh, so when I saw this on his YouTube live, I just knew I had to have it. I grew up listening to this guy with my dad in the car. So when I saw this shirt, I was super stoked. Here's the back hit here. 25 years on the road, really cool graphic. I think this shirt's from the year 1995, but uh, amazing fade, single stitch, very awesome. I'm gonna be keeping this shirt. Also in the package was this Swingin' for History, Sammy Sosa and Mark McGuire t-shirt from 1998. So 1998 was the year where Sammy Sosa, Mark McGuire, and Ken Griffey Jr. were all racing to beat the home run record, which was held by Roger Maris. The record was 61. If you want to get technical with it, Babe Ruth had 60 home runs with fewer games. Roger Maris had 61 home runs with a few extra games. So I don't know. Think of it what you will. But regardless, this was an awesome year. Uh, the steroid era of baseball. So the 90s in baseball was just kind of unmatched, as, I think, as far as entertainment goes. It was such a fun time. Everybody was juiced to the gills, and it was just an amazing time to be a sports fan. So I was actually at the game with my dad in 1998 between the Cardinals and the Reds, where Mark McGuire had already hit 61. He was aiming for that 60-second home run, the record-breaking home run. I just remember with every pitch, all the flashes from the cameras going off. So he didn't actually end up hitting that record-breaking home run that day. It happened a few days later in St. Louis, but man, this was such a cool time to be alive. So when Drew pulled this shirt out on his live, I knew I had to have it as well. So thanks a lot, Drew. Appreciate it. Just got a delivery here from Uline. I'm going to open it up and show you what we got. Nothing too fancy, but if you're a reseller, you may appreciate it. Got the Open L number eight. Love this knife. 
And inside the box, what do we have? More boxes, of course. These are from Uline, shipping boxes. They are eight by six by sixes. I use these a lot for packaging hats. You can pack all sorts of stuff in these boxes. I really like them. Uh, Uline, definitely not the cheapest place to source your shipping materials, but I really like them because they deliver everything in one day. I really like how they ship everything within a box because I've ordered like other boxes from eBay and stuff in the past and they come in like saran wrap, they get all wet sitting on the front porch and they just kind of suck in my experience. Like not necessarily all of them, but here's an example of a different box that I bought on eBay. These are like eight by six by six boxes. They're super thin and they glued the seams all janky to where, let's see if I can do this with one hand. When I go to like close the box up, it's all crooked. So these are pretty much useless. It's just a headache. So I will gladly pay the extra money, a few extra dollars to get my shipping materials from like a reputable source like Uline. And of course you get all this extra packing material with it, which is always cool. It's such a nice thing to have. It alleviates so many headaches. So I love it. So that's going to do it for this video, everybody. As usual, we really appreciate you watching. We'll catch you on the next one. See ya.